Cause it's a DIY video. We gonna do the DIYs, DIYs. And that is the new DIY song intro. We gonna do the DIYs, DIYs. Really awesome video coming in three, two. You are my love. What is up guys? It's Ava and today is a DIY video because we love a good DIY on this channel. Wow, it just doesn't want to focus. You know we like to keep our rooms looking fresh, clean, exciting, new. We love to save our coin on that room decor so we can spend it on food. You know we make great decisions on this channel. My hair is a tangled mess right now. It's just a rat's nest. Okay, you know we're just gonna become scene kids today. Gonna bring this back. All I need is like a little bow. Oh my gosh, I'm literally a scene kid. <gasps> I'm triggered. You know. <laughs> Bring me the horizon! But that being said, these DIYs are universal. You can use them for summer, spring, winter, fall, whatever season it is on your planet. So if you're watching this and it's not summer, hey, this is Ava from the past. Good news, you can still use these DIYs. You guys know the drill. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit the button because please. Also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like when I do DIY videos and comment down below what products I should put in my hair. I think dry shampoo is the first step, so. I'll do that in a second. And yeah, let's get into these DIYs. Okay guys, it's time for another DIY video. Oh yeah. Okay, so first thing we're making is this spotted frame. It's so easy. All you'll need is a frame, some paint brushes, and some black paint. Now, this DIY is not rocket science. It's just really creative and so easy, so anyone can do this. All you do is dip your paintbrush into your black paint and start creating polka dots. And for me, I like to make the sizes all a bit different so they look more like spots. Once you're done, you'll have a photo frame that is so creative, personalized. It makes any photo inside it stand out even more and pop. And you can literally get a frame for like $2. So this DIY is really affordable. So the next thing we're making, I call it my confidence mirror. And all you'll need for this DIY is a mirror that I got from Michaels, it was like $1, some black chalkboard paint and some white paint or chalk. What I did was I just got creative and took my black chalkboard paint and painted it on the sides of the mirror to create a little bit of a barrier. After the chalkboard paint dried, I just took my white paint and painted some words of inspiration. And you can do this with chalk, but I liked doing it with white paint because it stood out a little bit more. I just got creative and added some hearts to it, and this DIY is so cute, guys. So you can put this in your room, and every morning when you wake up, you can look into your confidence mirror, have it by your bed, you can even put like jewelry on top of it, you can put books on top of it, candles. You can use this for anything, it's just a cute decor piece. Next DIY is this triangle hanging decor. This is super easy to make. All you'll need is some black paint, black paper, black yarn, and a stick. So the first thing I did was I painted my stick with black chalkboard paint. Um, if you find a black stick, that's even better, but I didn't find any, so I had to make my own. Then I took a ruler and cut out some triangles all in the same shape. Once the stick has dried, I took my black yarn and I just cut out pieces that were probably about two feet in length. I tied the string to the stick and I did three of these. Then I cut off all the excess pieces and began to map out where I want my triangles to lay. So you can do them kind of like random and all over the place. You can do them in lines of three like I did, but just get creative and figure out how you want your triangles to look. After you have your triangles laid flat where you want them, flip it upside down and glue the triangles to the string. And I found that it really helped to do this like from the back side. And yeah, after it dries, you have this super cute triangle hanging mobile. You can hang it from a ceiling on some string and have it just like float around. But I think this looks so cute on a wall and I think you guys will love it too. Next we're making these really cute, I call them like Moroccan pillows, um, but they're really just really cute decor pillows. First thing you'll need is a pillow, and I got this pillow for $5, so a really good deal. And then some fabric glue, and also just some like string decor yarn that I got from Joanne's fabric store. Okay, so basically what you're going to do, guys, this is so simple. First you're just gonna lay out how you want your decor string to look. So just get creative, do lines, like figure out what looks good. Like, you know, that doesn't look good. Neither, well, that looks okay, but no, just no. 
So basically figure out what you want your pillow to look like first. And then once you have your pillow figured out, take your fabric glue, draw a line where the border of like the seam of your fabric, I guess, how do I explain this? Basically just attach your line of glue to wherever the like sewn hem is of your decor string. Pat it down and just keep patting it until it dries. Um, it might slip a little bit, so keep your hands on it until it kind of like solidifies. I'm just doing the same thing for a bigger piece, so I'm making a bigger kind of like border of fabric glue just to make sure that everything sticks nicely. It'll probably dry within 20 minutes, and once it dries, you'll have these super cute decor pillows. And they look so expensive, but you literally probably paid like $10 each for them, if that. I want a baby, do I even bother? Do you ever think about me? But you Balenciaga and Prada. The next DIY is not even a DIY. It's really just like something creative that you can do in your house. Um, but basically what I did was I bought one of these like shadow frames and usually you put pictures inside of them, but something really creative that you can do that's different is pick some flowers outside, go to a park, pick some leaves that you really like and just kind of like smush the leaves within the frame. This is a really cute kind of like nature-y artsy piece that you can have in your room. If you don't want to like water plants or anything, but you still want plants in your room, this is a great way to kind of have a little plant in your room. And you can also use fake plants. You don't have to use real plants, but it just looks like a nice little nature piece. So, um, my hair still looks like this, guys. So that is it for this DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some good tips for summer DIYs and just DIYs in general because I feel like every DIY in this video can be, like the ideas can be translated into whatever season you want, which is really cool. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like when I do DIY videos and also comment down below what your favorite DIY is in this video. And if you do any of these DIYs, be sure to tweet me pictures or Instagram them with the hashtag You know, just, just tweet me. Hashtag Ava, I did the DIY. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter. And yeah, I love you guys so much. That is it for this video. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay amazing and have a great summer. Bye guys. Ah.